Is technology killing jobs? Yes. And no, it's not that simple. Automation could kill 73 million US jobs by 2030. An accurate prediction? The truth is, automation is fundamentally changing the way we work. But there are also benefits to this development. Many of the jobs being taken over by automation are repetitive manual tasks and automation is creating jobs as well as eliminating them. Many of those new jobs will be in the field of robotic process automation or RPA. Hang on, what is robotic process automation? What are its advantages? And will robots really take over our jobs? Let's take a look. RPA is the use of software to automate business processes, such as dealing with data, replying to emails, processing transactions, and even creating social media posts autonomously. So, RPA automates repetitive tasks that people used to do. These are not just the menial tasks of a low-paid worker. Up to 45% of our work activities can be automated, including the work of financial managers, doctors and CEOs, and even some parts of my job. Do you think your job could be automated as well? Let us know in the comments. Robot-controlled process automation was developed from three different key technologies. Screen scraping. The term refers to technologies used to get information by extracting the required data. For example, from screens. Workflow automation software replaces manual data entry by people. This increases order fulfillment rates, process speed, efficiency and precision. Artificial intelligence. While RPAs usually don't use machine learning, findings from the field of AI were crucial for the creation of RPA systems. A robot-controlled process automation does not only work around the clock, it is also error-free, more cost-effective and faster than a human being. In addition, the RPA seamlessly documents all the tasks that arise. Any problem can therefore be easily solved without expensive outage phases. RPA can optimize customer service for companies by automating tasks, such as checking e-signatures or information for approvals or rejections. RPA can support employees in repetitive accounting, transaction reporting and budgeting tasks. The big advantage of RPA is its flexibility. New commands and requirements can be implemented at any time. To sum it up, here's what RPAs do better than human workers. They make no mistakes and increase process quality. They carry out their tasks at very high speed and they can be used for a wide variety of applications. And they also free employees from annoying and boring routine tasks. So back to those jobs. There are countless predictions out there on how robots, AI and automation are changing our work lives. The American market research company Forrester Research estimates that RPA will threaten the livelihood of 230 million or more knowledge workers, or approximately 9% of the global workforce. However, RPA will also create new jobs, as workers train for and move to new roles within their companies. In addition, RPA automation will change jobs without eliminating them. A report by management consulting firm McKinsey states that less than 5% of all occupations can be totally automated, but about 60% can be partially automated to varying degrees. And that's where the benefits for businesses come in. Employees could then focus on higher value tasks. If you're working in IT or plan to do so, RPA offers plenty of career opportunities including jobs like developer, project manager, business analyst, solution architect and consultant. And these jobs pay well. The downside. Most of those jobs require specific professional skills. So, for example, factory workers will have to train to get the required skills. Otherwise, they won't match the new job descriptions. Of course, no one knows for sure if technology will create as many jobs as it eliminates. Experts will continue to crunch numbers and make predictions but only time will tell what the workplace of the future will look like in the end. What do you think about the topic? Do we have to be afraid of this technology? Or do you think that it will have a positive effect on the economy? Let us know in the comments. And if you have a digital topic you would like us to cover, let us know as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.